a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series review. We've got Darth Vader from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, on first inspection, just in the box, I'm not seeing a great deal of difference compared to the Empire Strikes Back one that we got uh, at the inception of this line when the uh, these new style boxes came in just a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It's a nice Vader. Um, the gloves seem to be slightly different. Of course, the colours on the uh, chest plate and, and that are all slightly different. I don't have the uh, I don't have the other one on hand, um, and in comparison to the vintage collection one, I, I feel like we're a little bit shortchanged with this, um, given that that Vader and the three and three quarter is the best Vader in my opinion to date, um, and you know with the swap out hands, the fist, and this one coming with this with just the same hands that he's always come with. Um, I'm not bummed out. It's cool. I'm going to open this one up and take a look. I always love any Vader figure. It's, you know, they're all good in their own way. It's Vader. He's awesome. So just take out his lightsaber really quickly. And we have it. Try not to leave the sticky tape on it. And we'll get a look at Vader in just a moment. So I'm noticing the difference in the color um, tone of the figure. The soft goods are a nice sort of thick. I've, I've, I don't know, I've had my Empire Vader out a little bit recently and this, this feels like a different fabric. I don't know, it's just me. Um, and it, you know, it's, it's the same size. You know, it's this gigantic circle of fabric, <laughs> almost like Batman. But, um, yeah, I can't tell whether it's any different. Um, but, yeah, it still looks good. Um, one thing I, like, think I wish they did with this one is, you know, have the shoulder thing come out. So the shoulder pauldrons are sort of connected as part of the, uh, part of the chest armor, sort of coming out into that one piece. Um, I think I would have liked to have seen that um, on a new Vader, but... It's all good. You know, This we know this one works. It allows for all the articulation, everything you want. So, um, I don't think this one has the... I can't remember if this one had the butterfly joints. I don't think so, but they, the way they did the, the, the body on this one, it's uh, slightly better to pose. So, again, we've got the lightsaber. We've seen this one a few times now. Just a nice sort of slide in, slide out. There is a little hook on the handle of the saber. And that will just sort of clip onto the side of the belt. Just sort of hangs there softly. Um, you know, yeah, it'll probably fall off <laughs> at some point. That's just me though. Um, yeah, there's just, I don't know, that chest piece that they did with the TVC one. It just made Vader feel a lot more broader, especially when his cape's back like this. Um, I know you can bring the cape forward, sort of drape it over like that. But, yeah, I don't know. It's still a nice Vader, I really like it. So the gloves appear to be, you know, more in line with his New Hope style gloves. That sort of ribbed, ribbed look. And I definitely think there's some def definitely some different paintwork on the helmet here. A little bit more of the, the sort of silver underneath, which is you know very very in line with the way they filmed, um, the way they sort of had to do some parts like that right cheek or right on camera, sort of silver. You can sort of see the top of the left cheek or right cheek there is silver as well. A little bit on the bottom of the neck there, the underside. And I think, I believe this is a newer head sculpt as well. Um, not sure how much it's changed, but still looks great. 
But yeah, the reason they did those sort of silver embellishments on the helmet when filming is because just the black doesn't reflect light and it was getting all lost in the shot. So you can even see that here, that, you know, sort of silver highlights sort of bounce, bounce off, still, still appearing black. But definitely sort of showing the, the shapes a little bit more. But yeah, again, it's a nice Vader. He's still got the old legs with the pins. It's a, it's a definitive Vader until the definitive Vader, which, you know, could be any which way, you know, it depends, depends on what your favorite Vader is. You know, they're all good. Uh, hopefully they can do one with the uh, split apart helmet. That would be fantastic. Would love that. With his lightsaber, let's plug it in. See, there we go. There's Vader. I just don't feel like his helmet's as black, it looks a little bit more plasticky. But again, I do love, do love me some Vader, but. Yeah, it doesn't, really doesn't hold a candle to that vintage collection one, which is just, you know, perfection. You know, that'd be probably my three and three quarter inch figure of the year, without a doubt. And there's been some crackers, but you know, it's hard to go past Vader. But this is a nice one. If you haven't had a Vader before, prime time to jump on board. It's been a couple of years since that Empire Strikes Back Vader. Um, yeah, they just don't pump out the Vaders like they used to. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, this one's definitely one you want to grab a hold of. It's the most modern, most modern sort of looking Vader there is in six inch line. So it's the newest sort of version, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's only ever so slight little differences in this one from the last, but it's still good. Anyway, guys, love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out down below. Drop a comment, hit a like, smash a subscribe, do all that cool stuff that YouTube does. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on another video very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.